My name is Andrew Lind, and I recently finished up my doctorate uh, with Dr. Anya Jones. So I study the aerodynamics of rotor blades on helicopters in reverse flow. And this is a problem for all helicopters, but is really a big problem for high-speed helicopters. And so reverse flow happens on the retreating side of a rotor disc, where the flow travels from the trailing edge, the back of the airfoil, to the leading edge, the front of the airfoil, and that's backwards. As we're looking to make these high-speed helicopters, this reverse flow becomes a real problem. So my work uh, looks at rotor blades and studies them experimentally in wind tunnels, uh, looking at the forces and the flow fields around these rotor blade airfoil sections. And I'm looking to see if the shape of the rotor blade airfoil section affects the performance, and if so, how. I'm looking at both the time average forces and flow fields, as well as the unsteady forces and flow fields. To do this, I used unsteady pressure transducers, and time-resolved PIV, which involves a high-speed laser and high-speed cameras to slow down visualization of the flow and quantify uh, how fast it's going in different regions, and uh, as well as quantifying vortex structures and their trajectory. Another thing that I'm doing is looking at airfoils that pitch, because as a rotor blade goes around uh, the rotor azimuth, it pitches. And so this creates a unique set of uh, challenges, especially in the reverse flow region, where we can see reverse flow dynamic stall. So that's one of the things that I've been working on characterizing and ultimately modeling to help improve the development of high-speed helicopters.